The on-court action is what dominates the sports headlines, but it's what's happening outside the grounds of Melbourne's Australian Open Tennis Championship that's exciting Australia's newspapers. Less Grand Slam than Grand Slum, said one last week, referring to the number of people sleeping rough nearby. Television news programmes, too, have focused on the shame of tennis fans having to see homeless people blighting the city. Initially, police said there was little they could do to clear the streets. It's not an offence to be homeless. Um, it's not a very good look what's, what's down there at Flinders Street, but it's not an offence to sit or sleep on the street. But under pressure since, politicians have said they will look to change laws so people can be moved on. But even if that happens, it won't solve the underlying issue. People sleeping rough so close to where the Australian Open is taking place has made the issue of homelessness front page news in Melbourne. But it's not just there that the number of people sleeping on the streets is going up. This camp appeared in the heart of Sydney's financial district in mid-December. It offers homeless people cover from the heat and the rain, sandwiches from local shops that are nearing their use-by dates and even a book swapping service. The man whose idea it was is homeless himself. He says 400 people are using this impromptu community centre every day. I looked around and I, I looked at what the alternatives might be for the people that were, um, were saying they didn't feel safe, there weren't any. Government figures released this week show more than 279,000 people in Australia received help from homelessness services last year. The numbers of people actually sleeping on city streets rather than in hostels or with friends are much lower. But they are rising, about 250 people in Melbourne, about 500 in Sydney, the most since people started counting. Cost of accommodation and private rent is, you know, you're looking at market rent that takes up three quarters of someone's income. There is no leadership to do some real significant growth in housing. Homelessness advocates are calling on Australia's federal government to focus on fixing a growing problem rather than just bowing to pressure to sweep it away when tennis fans come to town. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.